Hi my dear students, in the previous videos we discussed the definition of the matrix we discussed, what is meant by rows we discussed, what is meant by columns we discussed and also we discussed well, some nodes we discussed. If a matrix is of the order M cross N then that have the MN elements that we discussed and the definition of the matrix we discussed just I'll briefly explain once. So matrix is and the definition of the matrix is a matrix is an ordered rectangular arrangement of numbers or functions is called as matrix and the matrix is denoted by the capital letters each elements we are writing in the matrix we are writing each elements or oh, sorry yeah, numbers and functions we are writing within the brackets so whatever we are writing the numbers or the functions we can call it as the elements of the matrix we can call or we can call entries of the matrix and matrix is the singular form and matrices is the plural form this we discussed and rows means the horizontal in the within the bracket the horizontal line constitute the rows and the vertical line constitute the columns and also we discussed the if the matrix is what is the order of the matrix so order of the matrix is nothing but the in the given matrix uh, the number of rows into the number of columns actually we should not call it as into we should write it as m if the matrix m we have the m rows and n columns that we can write it as the m by n the order of the matrix is m by n if it has the m rows and n columns then we can call it as m by n and also we discussed if the matrix is of the order m cross n then that have the mn elements we discussed and we should also we also discussed in the given matrix in general we will denote the matrix it as Generally, we will denote the matrix as A is equals to AIG. So, AIG, what it indicates? The, it indicates that the elements will be in the form of AIJ. AIJ, A subscript IJ means what? The element, this will indicate the place of the element in which the element is lying in, the, in a matrix. That will explain or that will that tells us the in which place the element is lying. So, A subscript IJ means the element lying in the ith row and j column so that is the generally we write it as the aij and this m cross n will indicates the order of the matrix so order of the matrix means what how many rows are there first m indicates the first place whatever i wrote here it is that will indicates how many rows are there and next what i wrote n here n means n columns are there how many columns are there that will indicates so therefore uh, the order of the matrix here we will write here it is that is m cross n and next students in the previous videos we discussed the exercise number 3.1 in that the fifth question i had discussed construct a 3 cross 4 matrix whose elements are given by this is the first question and this is the second question we discussed and in the previous video i discussed this already i discussed that and i given to you this as the homework I think some of you may solve or some of you may get confused or you are not able to, you may not solve, here it is. So therefore, I in, the, in this video, I am going to discuss this question. So, in the previous video, whatever we discussed in this case, the same procedure here we are applying. The only changes is here the given condition is different and here the given condition is different. And please remember students, the question is, you are constructing the matrix of the order 3 cross 4. So, 3 cross 4 you are constructing means here this. Generally, we will write here this. We know that the 3 cross 4 matrix will be. So, generally, we know that the 3 cross 4 matrix will be in this form. What is that? A is equals to. Here it is. A11, A12. A13, A4. How many here it is? 3 rows are there and 4 columns are there. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore up to here 4, I should write here it is. How many columns? How many rows? 1. And next here it is A21, A22, A23, A24. And next here it is A31, A32, A33, A34. I am writing here it is here are 3 rows. 1, 2, 3. 3 rows are there and 1, 2, 3, 4 columns are there. So, this is the matrix of the order 3 cross 4. Generally, we will write the matrix like this. 
first whenever you are going to solve such a type of questions if you are construct they given you the construct uh, 3 cross 4 matrix or 2 cross 2 matrix such a matrix if they given or such a questions if they given to you means first you should understand how many rows are there and how many columns are there first you should imagine that and also you should know here it is how will be the elements in this so therefore i am writing like this first job is first we what what we should do First, we'll generally the given matrix we should write here is of the order whatever they given to you. In this particular case, they given to you 3 cross 4. So, therefore, 1, 2, 3 rows are there and 4 columns must be there. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, therefore, I am constructing the matrix of the order 3 cross 4. So, after constructing this, they given to you how will be the elements in this matrix or how should be the elements that they given here this that is a condition they should obey this condition a i a subscript i j is equals to 2 i minus j so whatever we have the 3 cross 4 matrix in this matrix the element should follow this condition so therefore i will find out these all elements please remember such a type of question we discussed in the previous video just i am repeating the uh, i mean just i am solving the next question this is so whatever we did in the previous class or previous video whatever we discussed the same procedure i am following only the changes is here the different case given to you and here the different case is given to you so now students the first i am going to find the element a11 so therefore a11 is equals to what is that formula it will add you can take it as the formula also you can consider okay so therefore 2i minus j is given to you so 2i minus j is equals to i needed the value of a11 so a11 means what it indicates a11 means this is first row first column and what i generally i told here is a i j means what i is the first i is i indicates the rows and j indicates the columns so therefore i needed a11 so therefore i am taking here it is i needed the a11 value so therefore here the given condition is 2i minus j so therefore i am taking here this i will take i value as 1 and j value as 1 if i take i value as 1 and j value as 1 i will get the element a11 aij they only define that aij should be 2i minus j so here it is or else you can write the starting here it is given that so we can write given that given the condition so what is that aij is equals to 2i minus j so like this condition should satisfy so therefore i needed the compare this one i needed a11 so in place of i i, I should put 1 and in place of j if i substitute 1 then i will get the a11 value a i j is equal to 2i minus j like this condition the elements of this matrix should contain it satisfies so therefore i will write i needed the value of a11 so therefore i am substituting if i put the i value as 1 and j value as 1 here, here it is in this formula if i put i value as 1 and j value as 1 then i can get a11 value so therefore put i value is 1 and j value is 1 in this case so therefore 2 into what is the i value here it is 1 minus j value is 1 so therefore 2 into 1 is 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so 2 1 is 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 is 1 clear and next come to the second element a12 so a12 is equal to again 2 into what is the i value 1 minus j value is here it is 2 is equal to 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 and next come to the third element a13 is equal to 2 into 1 minus j is 3 therefore 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 2 minus 3 is equal to minus 1 and next a14 is equal to 2 into 1 minus 4 is equal to 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 2 so like this we should calculate students and next we should find the values of here it is a21 a22 a23 a24 so therefore again so similarly find out these values so i am going to find out so here it is a21 so a21 is equal to a14 is or a21 so a21 is again here it is 2 into i value is 2 minus j value is 1 so 2 2 is a 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 and next a22 is equal to 2 into i 2 minus j value is 2 
3, 4, 4 minus 2 is equals to 2. Clear? And next, A, 2, 3. A, 2, 3 is equals to here it is 2 into 2 minus J value is 3. So, 4 minus 3 is equals to 1. And next students, A, 2, 4. So, 2, 2 is a, I value is 2, J value is 4. So, 4 minus 4 is equals to 0. This is A, 2, 4. Next, we should find A31, A32, A33, A34 values also we should find. So, we are writing here it is. So, that is here. Next, here it is students. Next, we are writing A31. So, A31 is equals to A31 is equals to in the formula here it is 2 into 3 minus 1 is equals to 3 to the 6 minus 1 is equals to 5. Next, A32. So, A32, I value is 3, J value is 2. So, therefore, 2 into 3 minus 2. So, therefore, 6 minus 2 is equals to 4. Next, A33. So, 2, 3 is a minus 3. 6 minus 3 is equals to 3. And next, A 3, 4 is equals to students, 2 into 3 minus 4, so 6 minus 4 is equals to 2. So, like this, you can write. So, therefore, the given matrix, they ask you to write this constant. So, therefore, A matrix is equals to, so what is, here it is, A11 element is, here it is, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, in the place of A11 element is 1, a12 is 0. So, these all values I am substituting here. It is in this place. A11 value I am substituting. A12 value I am substituting. A13 value I am substituting. So, therefore, 1, 0, minus 1. 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2. And next, here it is A21. In place of A21. So, therefore, 3, 2, 1, 0. And next, here it is. 5, 4, 3, 2. So, therefore, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, therefore, this is the matrix of the order. Here it is 3 cross 4. They ask me to construct the matrix of the order 3 cross 4. So, therefore, this is your required answer. Second one. I hope you don't have any doubts. Yes. And next, we will go to the next concept. So, the answer is 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2 and 3, 2, 1, 0, 5, 4, 3, 2. So, this is the required answer. And next concept we are going to discuss that is equality of matrices. So, if you want to solve this, pause. The, if you want to write, so please for, pause the video and then you can write. So, in Kannada, I explained all, already uh, in the previous videos, I explained how to solve this question in Kannada. So, now I didn't explain it in, in Kannada. <clears throat> and the next concept is, my dear students, the next concept is equality of matrices. So, that in the remaining questions, we needed the some concept that is equality of the matrices. After discussing that, we will come to the next questions. That is 6th question, 6th, 7th questions of this exercise 3.1. That we will discuss later. Before that, I will discuss some con the concept that is equality. Equality of matrices. Yes, in the equality only he is it's not looking in equal. So don't laugh. So equality. So equality of matrices. So in the previous, I mean 
in the earlier only we know in the earlier classes or we know that equal so generally we are talking equal means what so equal means the two things should be looks like the same that case generally i'm talking that case we can say that two things are equal or two numbers are equal so like this we are discussing here is or two things or two cars are equal if they look the like same so generally we are talking the cases but what is the equality of or equal matrix in the case of matrices so how or in which case or in what case we should tell that two matrices are equal that we are going to discuss so equality of matrices so students if i have the two matrices so if i have the matrix a is equals to a i j and another one matrix i'll take here it is b is equals to b i j so please remember students and this is of the order m cross n and this is of the order m cross n both are of the order m cross n in that in that case here it is <coughs> or else we'll take here it is before the explaining just i'll take the two matrices so a is equals to a i j just this is the notation a is equals to a i j this is the one matrix and this is another one matrix b is equals to b i j so here i am taking b and here i am taking a so don't don't be confused just this is the notation we have the two matrices and please remember students these two matrix are said to be equal if they satisfies the conditions so what is the first condition these two matrices are said to be equal if they are of they are of same order these two matrices are said to be equal the first condition if they are of the same order it means that both should be of the order the order of this matrix and the order of this matrix should be same this is the first condition and second condition is each element of a each element of a is is equal to the is equal to the corresponding to the corresponding element of b so these two matrices are said to be equal so if these two matrices are said to be equal if they are of the same order so what is the order of this matrix the same order should be should be, should have this matrix also then we can say that the two matrices are equal this is the first condition and another one condition is that each element of a is equal to the corresponding element of b so whatever in the matrix a we have that element whatever contain the that element corresponding to that element in the matrix a in the matrix b also have the same element so there if these two conditions satisfies then we can say that those two matrix are the equal matrix so therefore so before understanding this uh, uh, def definition first i'll take one example so after taking this you can see here it is okay whether the two matrices are equal or not so example i will take a is equals to 1 2 3 4 and b is equals to another matrix b is equals to 1 2 3 4 so yes my dear students so now these two matrices are said to be equal why these two matrices are equal according to the condition what is that they are of the same order so what is the order of this matrix the order of this matrix is first row second row how many rows are there one two two rows are there how many columns are there one two so therefore the order of this matrix is 2 by 2 and what is the order of this matrix 2 by 2 because 1 2 two rows are there two columns are there so therefore the order of this matrix is 2 cross 2 and the order of this matrix is also 2 cross 2 so according to my definition of the matrix two matrices are said to be two matrix are said to be equal if they are of the same order yes here this is the matrix this in the matrix of this order of this matrix is 2 cross 2 and order of this matrix is also 2 cross 2 and another one condition what is that each element of a is equal to the corresponding element of b so whatever element you we have in the matrix a the this element is equal to the corresponding element of b so this element and this element are equal in this matrix a this element the corresponding to this element this element matrix each element of the matrix that is in this place in the matrix whatever a we have this element corresponding to this matrix b this element should be same so this element and this element are same 
and this and this same and this and this element are same. That is the meaning. So each element of A is equal to the corresponding element of B. Then we can say that these two matrices R of R equal matrix or equal matrices. The two matrices are said to be equal if they are of the same order and each element of A is equal to the corresponding element of B, then we can say that these two matrix are of the these two matrix are equal here. This and if two matrix are equal, then that we denote it as A equals to B. A equals to B. So this is the concept of the equality of matrices. So that is each element of the A is equal to the corresponding element of B. So in my this is the in word I wrote and in mathematical form we can write here it is a i j is equal to b i j. A i j is equal to b i j because A is the matrix element will be a i j and in the matrix b element will be b i j form. So therefore a i j is equal to b i j for i throw and for i and j columns. For i and j columns. I will be the i i will be the rows, same rows, and j will be the same columns. So this is the condition we are going to discuss. Yes. And now based on this, we are going to discuss for <coughs> next we are going to discuss the questions based on this matrix, equality of matrices. So these two matrices are equal matrices. And now I will explain in Kanda. So what is the meaning of the equal or equal of equality of matrices? So what is the equality of matrices? My dear students, this now we are matrix and the equal and the other thing is even held there. So your matrix and the equal and the other thing is even held there. So all your two conditions satisfied there be go. So ye your two conditions are held there. Model nee conditions ye na ye be go. They are of the same order. E matrix matto E matrix equal ya wa girta ram held there. E matrix ko order matte E matrix ko order your two same it there. Now wa ge na go do matrix and this is the first condition. Your two conditions satisfied there. So your two matrix and the equal and held there ka there. Model nee condition ye na held there. Yeder the order of E matrix order and E matrix order. Two matrix order same will be equal. Order same under order under order hang by the way. How the matrix order na hang by the way. The number of rows into or number of rows by number of columns. Number of rows is to the power cross number of columns is to the value. Then now order of the matrix under the correct. So therefore, uh, E matrix order and E matrix order are the same. Rebeko. This is the first this is the condition. Second condition is the each element of A. Pratyandu matrix here it is. Each element of A. Pratyandu matrix of A. A, A, A matrix is the same. Pratyandu element to corresponding element to equal to the corresponding element of A. In the A matrix is the same. Either the same element, either the same element. Either the same element. Either the same element. E place will be the element to next E matrix will be the same element to same will be equal E place will be the same element to next E matrix will be the same place E place will be the same element to same will be equal other than I E is an equal to nine and the thirty thirty five corresponding element of B so corresponding means what E place will be the same element and the same E place will be the same element to same will be equal therefore I am using the Using the word like corresponding, so E plus the second element to E matrix is the second E matrix only. E plus the second element to E matrix only. If they plus the element, if they plus the other, it is A one one first row first column element to it is first row first column element. Here the same will be go. I mean next E matrix only. So first row second column element, first row second column element both should be same. So therefore, I am using the word here it is corresponding. You should not say you E matrix so much E matrix same with that E matrix so. Either only one is there, yellow plus little one is there. Then we can our condition now equal and here it comes with it. So equal means what? Corresponding element of B. So E matrix only. Yeah, our place only element is there. E corresponding is there. Place only corresponding. Is there place only? E place only. A element is there. So next E matrix only. Put a E place only. A element is there. Are there place only? The element put a same with that. Math and now we are going to do two matrices are equal and here it comes. So then we can call it as the two matrices are equal matrices. And next, based on this, we will discuss the questions here. And to remember students, I will I'll give you one example or else. I will give you one example. You should tell me whether these two are equal or not. 1, 2, 3, 4. And another one matrix, y is equal to or else, wait. I will give you one example. 
x is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 and another one matrix 2, 1, 3, 4. Yes. Now tell me my dear students whether these two matrices are equal. Can I can we say that these two matrices are equal equal? Yes. I think your answer should be yes, these two matrices are not equal. These two matrix are not equal because obviously first condition is satisfied. So to say that any two matrix are equal, they should satisfy the two conditions. What is the first condition? They are of the same order. Obviously, the order of this matrix is 2 cross 2 and the order of this matrix is also 2 cross 2. The first condition is satisfied. But what about the second condition? What is the second condition? Each element of A is equal to the corresponding element of B. It means that in this place, whatever element we have, the in this place means the first row, the first column element here is 1. Corresponding to this, in this matrix, what is that? First row and first column element is 2 here. This. So in this, whatever, in this matrix, whatever element we have, that element is not equal in this in this place element corresponding element that it means that here in the matrix x the a11 element first row the first first row the first column is column element is 1 here first row the first column element is 2 so these two are not equal so therefore these two matrices are these two matrix not equal so they, then we can say that these two matrices are not equal but here is, if you consider this example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. In this case, uh, the order also same and each element of the A is equal to the, each uh, corresponding element of B. So, therefore, this we can say that these two matrix or these two matrices are equal matrices. So, therefore, in this, if the two matrix, matrix are equal, then we can denote it by the A equals to P, where A and B are the matrix, matrices, matrix you can call, yes. Based on this, we are going to discuss the examples of this question. That is, in exercise number 3.1, the questions up to 5, 5 questions we will discuss. Students, up to 5 questions we will discuss, then we will discuss the 6th question and the 6th question will be based on this. So, what is 6th question then? So now I am going to discuss the sixth question. So what is that sixth question of your answer D? That is sixth question. I am going to write sixth question. Find the values of find the values of Find the values of x comma y, x comma y and z and z from the following, from the following equations. From the following equations in that the first one given to you is 4, 3, x, 5 is equals to y, z, 1, 5. This is the first question they given to you. And next the second one is, second one is x plus y. 5 plus z 2 x y equals to 6 2 5 8 x plus y 2 5 plus z x y equals to 6 2 5 8 and then the third one is third one is x plus y plus z x plus z y plus z this is equals to 9 5 7 yes 
so we here it is please read the question find the values of x comma y and z from the following equations so this is the equations they given to you this is the directly they given that this matrix is equal to this matrix so what they given to you these are the two matrix they given to you and that they put here this these two matrices are equal why these two matrices are equal in the question only equations only they given that this matrix equals and they given to you so therefore this is equals to this this is the conditions they given to you so by using this what we should find we should find the values of x y z so we should find the values of x y z so what are the conditions given to you this is the first condition and what is the second condition second condition also this matrix is equal to this matrix they given to you and this matrix is equal to this matrix this is the conditions they given to you in these cases you should find the values of x y z says ನೋಡಿ ಮಕ್ಕಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಕೇಳಿದಾರೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರ ನಿಮಗೆ ಎರಡು ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟಾರ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳಿದಾರ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಜಡ್ ನ ಬೆಲೆಗಳನ್ನ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳಿದಾರ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಮತ್ತು ವೈ ಜಡ್ ನ ಬೆಲೆಗಳನ್ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳಿದಾರ ಸೊ ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳಿರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಮಗ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಹಿಂಟ್ ಒಂದು ಕೊಟ್ಟಾರ ಏನ್ ಹಿಂಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಾರ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರ ಇವೆರಡು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅದಾವ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಯಾಕೆ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅದ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗ್ತೈತಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಸೈನ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಾರ ಸೊ ಈ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ so assuming that adana now use maadkondu nane gain maartene anta helidra x y z values anna find out maartene so just ivaga now discuss maadidvi ee question bariyogina munche nave en discuss maadidvappa anta helidra yavade eradu matrix anna equal yava helthevu anta helidra so each order must be same and corresponding each element of this matrix is equal to the corresponding element of this matrix ಅವೆರಡೂ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸೆಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ಆದಾಗ ಮಾತ್ರ ನಾವೇನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತೇವೆ ಎರಡು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅದಾವ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತೇವೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಇಂದ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳಿದಾರ ಇವೆರಡು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅದಾವ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಾರ ಇವೆರಡೂ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅದಾವ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಗೊತ್ತೈತಿ ಇವೆರಡು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತೈತಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಏನಾಗಿರ್ತೈತಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದ್ರ ಈ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಈ ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿರ್ತೈತಿ ಯಾವಾಗ ಇವೆರಡು ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈ ಆದಾಗ್ಲೇ ನಾವ್ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳಿರ್ತೇವೆ ಎರಡು ಮ್ಯಾಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿರ್ತೇವೆ is it so therefore our condition is used markondu nan en barithana anta helena this implies we know that first condition here it is since two matrix two matrices two matrices are equal this implies so here it is y is equals to e plus irtakkanta element e plus irtakkanta element same irtati y is equals to 4 and z is equals to 3 and next x equals to and x equals to directly you can write this is just since two matrices are equal by the definition which you can write here by definition there by definition of equality of matrices or by equality of matrix you can write by equality of matrices is it so here it is so what is the condition here it is they given to you and they given to you these two matrix matrices are these two matrix are equal these two matrix are equal so if these two matrices are equal means what it indicates we know the definition or we know i have this two matrices are said to be equal two matrices are said to be equal if they are of the same order and each element of this matrix is equal to the corresponding element of this matrix if these two conditions satisfy then only we can say that these two matrices are equal now they given that this matrix is equal to this matrix if this matrix is equal to this matrix then that implies that corresponding element of this element is equal to corresponding element of this this element is equal to corresponding element of this this element is equal to corresponding element of this this element is equal to corresponding element of this so therefore i am writing 4 equals to y 4 equals to y and next here is 3 is equal to z 3 is equal to z and next here is friends x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 simple yes just if you know correctly if you know the understood the definition of the matter the two matrices are when we are saying the two matrices are equal if you know that correct concept then you can directly write this one is it simple that is the first condition and next come to the second case 
In the second case also my dear students, here also what they given to you here is these two matrices are equal. If these two matrices are equal as our according to our this equality of matrices, this element should be equal to this and this element must be equal to this and this element must be equal to this and this element must be equal to this. This is according to the definition of this equality of matrices. So therefore, again here it is, again you can write, since two given matrix are equal, two given or two given matrices are equal, matrices are equal, this implies x plus y is equal to, this element should be equal to this, x plus y equals to 6. And next, my dear students, I am not writing 2 is equal to 2, I am not writing because my intention is what I am doing at this, I am not equating these two. What am I, my aim is to find x, y, z. So, therefore, wherever x, y, z is there, only that elements I am taking. And next, it is y, y, 5 plus z is equal to 5. 5 plus z equals to 5 and x, y is equal to x y is equal to 8 is it just i am writing this each element of this is equal to corresponding element of this why i am taking how i am taking this condition just by the definition of equality of matrices how how i am getting these two matrices are equal because they put here this equal sign equal sign this matrix is equal to this matrix right? because this is the notation we we'll gives us the information that this matrix is equal to this matrix. If this matrix is equal to this matrix means they should they are already satisfying the condition. What is that? Order must be same and each each element of this matrix is equal to the corresponding element of this. They should satisfy this condition. Why? Because these two matrices are equal. They only given that. If you do matrix equal to the other equality of the other matrix equal to the other condition in the game the element the element of the corresponding element the element of E matrix with the element to I mean, E matrix with the element to do the elements in either the same method and the same. So, our concept and use my condo, none of the value. So, after writing this, Namaka Bekagiro in a lay X, Y, Z values Bekagi. So, X, Y, Z values Bekagiro in the in order first to X, Matha, Y values it, then X, Matha, Y values good pillar. So, I think Yelly next night in solve one of the Munche. I'll solve this in a E concept and Adva. E equation is solved. Yeah, can tell that when I get easy I get z value security because here this implies z is equal to 5 e plus 5 na e z consider minus 5 So this implies that z is equal to 5 minus 5 is equal to g. I am using the condition z value I am finding here is easily I can find so z 5 plus z is equal to 5. For from the definition of since the two matrices are equal, I wrote this one. 5 plus z is equal to 5. Now I needed the values of x, y, z. So therefore, z x 5, 5 plus z is equal to 5. Now here it is I needed the value z. So keep z here only. But I should I find the I needed the value of z. So therefore this 5 shift to this side. So if I shift this 5 to this side, that will become plus 5. If I shift this side, that will become minus 5. So 5 minus 5 is equal to 0. So therefore, z value is 0. They asked you to find the x, y, z. First, I found the value of z. So therefore, z is equal to 0. Next, my intention is to find the x and y value. But here it is, x plus y is equal to 6. y value also I don't know, x value also I don't know. If I know the any one among this, then I can easily calculate the remaining. But I, do, I don't know the both values, x and y. So therefore, what I will do here is, I am taking one value and also they given that x, y is equal to 8. So, x, y is equal to 8. From this, I can take any one value. Either I can take the value x or I can find the value of y. So, that is your wish. I will take here this x value. So, x, I needed the x value. So, keep x here and 8 here is. This x keep here. This y shift this side. So, if I wanted to shift this y to this side means that will here this multiplication is there x into y multiplication is there x as it is if this y shift to this side that will goes to the denominator and that will becomes my dear students 8 by y this is our x value 
x is equals to 8 by y. This y will go to the denominator. And now, this x value, I will substitute here. S substituting, substitute x as 8 by y in 1. So, after substituting this, here my dear students, so here it is x plus y is equal to 6. x value, I am taking it as 8 by y plus y is equal to 6. X, 8, 8, value, 8 by x value is 8 by y plus y is equal to 6. And now, my dear students, 8 by y, so nothing is there means 1. Now, take the LCM from this. So, LCM is y and 1, LCM is y. So, therefore, here, y and 1, LCM is y and here it is y into, we know the, already we know the LCM, how to find the LCM. So, here it is, this is y into 1 and here it is 1 into y. So, therefore, 8 into 1 is 8 plus y is equal to 6, y into y is y squared. So, is equal to 6. So, this we can call this method, we can call it as the LCM method. So, how to find the LCM method here it is? So here y and 1, first we should find the LCM that is y and 1 is y and next here it is whatever LCM we found it that we should write in the denominator. After writing this, here come to here it is y is there. So we should multiply to this numerator value, we should multiply to this numerator value uh, in such the, the such a value so that after multiplying that value, here it is whatever we have the denominator, we should multiply to this such a number so that after multiplying that I should get it as the I should get the LCM yeah, that is this value so therefore here y is there to y which number I should multiply so that I should get y here it is if I multiply with 1 I will get it as y so therefore I am multiplying with 1 in the numerator and similarly here it is 1 so to this one if I multiply with y then I am getting the LCM as this value as y so therefore I am multiplying to numerator 1 into y. So therefore this is I will get y. So keep as it. And next 8 into 1 is 8. Now multiply this to 8 into 1 is 8 plus y into y is y square is equal to 6. This method we can call it as the LCM. I hope I, I think already you solved this LCM method in the high school. But still I explained briefly once. Is it? So and next here it is shift this y to this side. So if I shift this y to this side y if, if I shift this y to this side that will become 8 plus y square is equal to 6 into if I shift this y to this then that will go to the numerator that will become 6 and now my dear students 6 into y 6y now here it is this implies that y square this 6y I will take this side 6y if I shift this side that will become minus 6y and this is the plus 8 equals to 0 because 6 by I took here this no elements then if I am substituting here this 0 is it now we should factorize this factorization also we discussed in the earlier classes so what is factorization earlier classes I mean in high school you know how to find the values of y so factorization so if you factorize this you will get here it is factorization in Kannada you can call it as the upper vertices you can the carry them so upper vertices you can carry them so here it is multiply this element and this element first element and second last element you should multiply how much it is 8 into y 8 into y square is 8 y square so I am explaining the factorization how to factorize so first multiply the first term and last term 8 into y is 8 y square and what is the middle term we have minus 6y right this here and after writing this here it is so we should choose the two values we should choose the two values in such a way that if I multiply these two values I should get this product this value and you may here it is or else if you add or subtract we should get this value so what are those numbers then those numbers are here it is 4y 2y 4 2 is 8 and next here it is I will take here this minus 2 minus 4 by minus 2 by I am getting because minus minus plus if you multiply these two values you should get this value you, you if you add or subtract you should get this value 
such a numbers you should find. So therefore, here it is minus minus plus 4 to the 8, y into y is y square. And next, if you add this to minus 4y plus minus 2y is minus 6y. Is it? So such a numbers you should choose. Now, substitute these values here it is. The first term you should write as it is y square. In the place of minus 6y, in the place of minus 6y, you should use these two terms. What are those? Minus 4y minus 2y. In the place of minus 6y, I am substituting these values. Minus 2y minus, sorry, minus 4y minus 2y plus 8. Either, it is not the condition that, first only you should write this one. Either you can write this first and I, lastly you can write like this. Or you can write first this, or you can write first this term and next this term also you can write. So therefore now I am writing y square in the place of minus 6y write this minus 4y minus 2y and last term is as it is that is plus 8 as it is equals to 0. Only the or, or only the uh, case or what I am doing here it is in place of minus 6y I am writing this. And now my dear students you can take here this from these two terms I can take as the common as y. So therefore y and if I take y from, the, from these two terms, if I take y common here it is. What is inside here it is y. y into y is y square minus as it is 2y. Already y I took common. So what is remaining? 4. So next here it is minus y into 4 is 4y. Plus minus minus. And y into y is y square. Y whatever I took common from these two, it's right. So whenever you are taking common, in that case what you should do? After taking common here this, again once you should verify. After multiplying this, again you should get the same terms, terms only. That you, like this you should verify. And next here it is my dear students. From this I am taking here this common. I will take the common 2. Next while taking common in these two, you should choose the common in such a way that again you should in this also after taking any number common, again you should get the with this y minus 4. The same term whatever you got inside the bracket, the same term you should get here also. In such a way that you should take the common. So from these two I am taking here this 2 and here this, here this plus y is there. So and here this minus 2y is there. So I am taking minus 2 from these two terms, I am taking minus 2 as common. So if I take minus 2 common from this, so minus 2, what is remaining? Y. So here the minus 2 already I took common. What is remaining? Y. And next here this here, what is that? Minus minus plus. I should get it as plus. So therefore I am writing minus. Minus minus plus. And next here this 4. 2 4 is 8. So this, this, this is equal to 0. Y minus 4. So here also y minus 4 and here also y minus 4. Now here also y minus 4 is there, here also y minus 4 is there. So now take the y minus 4 common from these two and from this if I take y minus 4 common what is remaining? y and from this what is remaining? minus 2 equals to 0. And next this implies that y minus 4 equals to 0 or y minus 2 equals to 0 and this implies y is equal to minus 4 if I shift that side that will become plus 4 or y is equal to plus 2 minus 2 if I shift that side that will become 2. This we can call it as the factorization method you can call or in Kannada we can call it as the upper vertices we can, we can call. So like this we should find the values. Yes. Here, my dear students, here we obtained the values y is equal to 4 and y is equal to 2. Two values I got. The values as I am getting as two values. So, we should use the both values we should use. Y value. Once we should use the y value as 2 and once we should use y value as 4. So, now here it is. In this equation 1, I will substitute y values. Once I substitute the y value as 4 and once another one, I will substitute the y value as 2. So after getting, after substituting y values 4 and 2, I will get the x values. Is it? That we will discuss. So come to this, come to here it is. When y is equal to 4, then equation 1 becomes. So what is that? x plus y is equal to 6. So I am substituting the y value as 4. So x plus 4 is equal to 6. 
x is equal to 6 plus 4 if I shift that side minus 4 x is equal to 2. This is the case when y value is 4. Uh, here it is. <coughs> that is y is equal to 4 and x is equal to 2. And if we put the y value as 4, I am getting x value 2. And next step is when y value is equal to 2, y value is equal to 2, then 1 becomes, then 1 becomes, so here it is x plus y is equal to 6, x plus y value I am taking here it is 2, therefore it equals to 6 and x is equal to 6 plus 2 if I shift that side minus 2 x is equal to 6 minus 2 is 4. So therefore that is here y is equal to 2 and x equals to 4. If I take y value is 2 and the x value will be so therefore my dear students what they ask they asked you to find the x y z values so therefore the z value already I calculated z value is 0 and x and y values are we are discussing the two cases there are two values of y so therefore if x y value is 4 and x, uh, if y value is 4 then x value is 2 and if y value is 2 then x value is 4 so therefore x y z value are x value is here is 2 and x value is 2 and y value is 4 or x y y x value is 4 and y value is 2 and z is equal to 0 is the answer or the x y z values for the second question already we discussed the first question and this is the second question and similarly my dear students solve the third question also so the third question is also similar type in brief i explain in Canada the second question so second question is input it from my name Questions are in the error matrix equal to so error matrix equal to the x, y, z values and the finite money field. So x, y, z finite money field the condition in the x plus y is equal to 6, e value is equal to this value because of equality matrices. So this matrix is equal to this and 5 plus z is equal to 5, x, y is equal to 8. So therefore, 5 plus z is equal to 5 e in the e plus 5 and equal equals the z is equal to already in 5 e plus 5 and equal equals the 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 is it and next here it is now again next to x plus y is equal to 6 at the x and the y values and calculate model value so x and the y values and calculate model value in the e condition c is model or e condition c is model so we need more than x of the y values ele x plus y is equal to 6 e in the Nanaga x value got the got the other no 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 y value of five hundred margodu atava y values got the drug got the dread x values on a five margodarito. But nanaga in Italy unfortunately Yaru values gotilla x values could have gotilla y values could have gotilla other than I am the third condition or in one condition again go the x y is equal to eight hundred gothe. So x y is equal to eight hundred goth zero in the Nanakile x values another five hundred margodu atava y values another five hundred margodu. That is depends on you. So, you are wish. But now, I will tell you x values are not perfect. So, x values are not perfect. So, x values are not perfect. So, y will shift. So, y will shift. So, y shift. 8 divided by y. Y will go to the denominator. If denominator is y shift. So, y will shift. Y will shift. It will multiplication. Y will denominator shift. X value is 8 by y. So, x value 8 by y is 8 by y. E value one, E x value one nine month and equation one is substitution month. So then for substitute x value as weight by y in the equation one, equation one then substitute model the x plus y is equal to 6. So, in x value 8 by y substitution mark any x by x value as 8 by y, x value and 8 by y plus as it is equal to plus it is plus y value in by the name of the y and y as it is by the name. You y and y and the other very good. Atava calculation mark again and easy I will know this was kind of y and y by 1 and the very thing y by 1 and the y and I will be the y is not the one very other in the value when you change over the law. So, therefore y by 1 is equal to 6 and the value. Next to the market now we will else him on a fire. So, LCM is the correct. 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 First, in my way, we will denominate the correct. Denominate the values of the LCM is the correct. So, y is the correct. So, y is the correct. So, here we will write. Next, in my way, we will write. So, here we will write. 
ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಹೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೆಯೋದ್ರಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೆದ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇದೆಯಲ್ಲ ಆ ಟರ್ಮ್ ನಾವು ಏನ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಇದು ಕೀ ಪ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಸೊ ವೈಗೆ ನೀವು ಒಂದು ನಂಬರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನಂಬರ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಝಡ್ ಆರ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇರ್ಬೋದು ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ವೈ ನಾನು ಏನ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಯಾವ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಂದ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ನನಗ ಎಲ್ಸಿಎಂ ವೈ ಮತ್ತು ಒಂದು ಎಲ್ಸಿಎಂ ವೈ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈಗೆ ನಾನು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಯಾವ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಂದ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲ್ಸಿಎಂ ಏನೈತೆ ಆ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಗೋ ಯಾವಾಗ ಯಾವ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಂದ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಎಲ್ಸಿಎಂ ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇರ್ತಿತ್ತು ಅಂತ ನಂಬರ್ ಇಂದ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ವೈ ಇದೆ ವೈ ಇಂದ ಒನ್ ಇಂದ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಯಾಕೆ ಒನ್ ಇಂದ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ವೈ ಇಂಟು ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಐಮ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಎಲ್ಸಿಎಂ ಈ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಈ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಗೆ ಒನ್ ಇಂದ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ನನಗೆ ಎಲ್ಸಿಎಂ ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೈ ಇಂಟ್ ಐ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ನಾನು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಅಂತ ಬರೀತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಬರೀ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನು ಎಲ್ಸಿಎಂ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಈ ಎಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಈ ಎಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಐ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಏನ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ನನಗೆ ಎಲ್ಸಿಎಂ ವೈ ಸಿಗ್ತೈತಿ ಸೊ ಒನ್ ಐ ವೈ ಇಂದ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಸೊ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ವೈ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಸೊ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಈ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಗೆ ವೈ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡ್ತೇನೆ ನಾವ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಡೇಸ್ ವೈ ಇನ್ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಬರೀತೇನೆ ಸೊ ವೈ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಇಂಟು ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವೈ ಇಂಟು ವೈ ಇಸ್ ವೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಈ ವೈ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ವೈ ಸೊ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟು ವೈ ಏಟ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಈ ವೈ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇನೆ ಸೊ ವೈ ಇಂಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಆಯ್ತು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಈ ಸೈಡ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ಈ ಸೈಡ್ ಶಿಫ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರೈಸೇಷನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರೈಸೇಷನ್ ನಾವು ಕರ್ಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಅಪವರ್ತಿಸುವ ಅಪವರ್ತಿಸುವಿಕೆ ಅಂತ ಕೂಡ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಅಪವರ್ತಿಸುವಿಕೆ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೇವೆ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಅಪವರ್ತಿಸುವಿಕೆ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಂತ ಹೆಂಗ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಐದರ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಅಪವರ್ತಿಸುವಿಕೆ ನೀವು ಯೂಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರೈಸೇಷನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಅಥವಾ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ನ ಯೂಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ನ ರೂಲ್ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಸೊ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ನ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಅಂತ ಕೂಡ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಸೊ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ನ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಆದ್ರೂ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಬಹುದು ಬಟ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಆಗದೆ ಇದ್ರೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನಾವ್ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ನ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಹೋಗ್ತೇವೆ ಸೊ ಆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾವ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ನ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಅವಶ್ಯಕತೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ನಾನು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಗೋಸ್ಕರ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಸೊ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ನ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ನಾ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಯಾಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ನನಗೆ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಈಸಿ ಆಗಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರೇಷನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ಈಸಿ ಆಗಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರೈಸೇಷನ್ ಆಗದೆ ಇದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಅವಾಗ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ನ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೇವೆ ಐ ತಿಂಕ್ ಯೂರ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ನೆನಪಿರಬಹುದು ಸೊ ಶ್ರೀಧರ್ನ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಏನ್ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಈಸ್ ದ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಎ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಸಿ ಈಕ್
ಆಮೇಲೆ ಶಾಫ್ಟ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ ಮತ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಏನ್ ಹಂಗ ಬರ್ಕೋರಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಏನ್ ಎರಡು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ ಆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ನ ಸಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸೊ ಆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಸಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಸಿಕ್ತಿಲ್ಲ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ತು ಸೊ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಈ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ನ ಸಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಏನ್ ಹಂಗ ಬರ್ರಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಜಿ ಎಂ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈ ಎರಡು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಎರಡು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಬರ್ತದೆ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಕಾಮನ್ ಯಾವ್ದು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇರಬೇಕು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಕಾಮನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿತೇವೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಐತಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೈ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಐತಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಇರೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾನು ಎರಡು ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ನ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ವೈ ಅನ್ನೋ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಳ್ತೇನೆ ಕಾಮನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಈ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಇರಬೇಕು ಈ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಇರಬೇಕು ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಕಾಮನ್ ಅಂತ ಕರಿ ಸೊ ದೇಪ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಇದೆ ವೈ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೋತೇನೆ ಸೊ ವೈ ಈ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇಂದ ಈ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇಂದ ವೈ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಐತಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಅಂತ ವೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ಐತಿ ಸೊ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಈ ಎರಡು ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಈ ರೀತಿ ಸಿಕ್ತಾ ಇರಬೇಕು ಸೊ ದೇ ಫಾರ್ ವೈ ಇಂಟು ವೈ ವೈ ಸ್ಕ್ವೇರ್ ವೈ ಇಂಟು ಎರಡು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಂಡಿ ಉಳಿದೇನು ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ವೈ ಇಂಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಐತಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏಟ್ ಟೂ ಐತಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏಟ್ ಐತಿ ಈ ಎರಡು ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇಂದ ನಾನು ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೋತೀನಿ ಟೂ ತಗೋತೀನಿ ಟೂ ತಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಇಂಟು ಟೂ ತಗೋತೀನಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಐತಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇದು ಏಟ್ ಇಂದ ನಾನು ಟೂ ಕೂಡ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೋಬಹುದು ಸೊ ಟೂ ಫೋರ್ ಏಟ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಏಟ್ ಟೂ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಕಾಮನ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ಈ ಎರಡು ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇಂದ ಟೂ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೋತೇನೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ವೈ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಂಡಿನಿ ಸೊ ವೈ ವೈ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ವೈ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಂಡಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಉಳಿದಿರೋದು ಏನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ವೈ ಸೊ ಐ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಫೋರ್ ವೈ ಐತಿ ವೈ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಂಡಿನಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೊ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೈ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ವೈ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಂಡಿರೋ ಉಳಿದಿರೋದು ಏನು ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಕಾಮನ್ ಈ ಎರಡು ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇಂದ ಟೂ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಂಡಿನಿ ಸೊ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ವೈ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಂಡಿನಿ ಉಳಿದಿರೋದು ಏನು ವೈ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಂಡಿನಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಐತಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಯಾವಾಗ ಬರ್ತೈತಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಬರ್ತೈತಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಟೂ ಏನ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಏಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ತದೆ ನನಗೆ ಫೋರ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿದಾಗ ಸೊ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ನಾವು ಫೋರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಮ್ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಶ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಈ ರೀತಿ ನಾವು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಐತಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಐತಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಐತಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನ್ ಕಾಮನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿರ್ತೈತಲ್ಲ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಈ ಎರಡು ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇಂದ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳೋ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಚೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಈ ಎರಡು ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಂಡಾಗ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದೆ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸಿಗೋ ರೀತಿನೇ ನಾವೇನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಈ ಎರಡು ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೋಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿಫೈ ಮಾಡ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇದೆ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಐ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಹೊರಗಡೆ ಕಾಮನ್ ತಗೊಳ್ತೇನೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಉಳಿದಿರೋದು ಏನು ಈ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇಂದ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ವೈ ಉಳಿತು ಈ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇಂದ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಸೊ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ಇಕ್ವಸ್ಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎರಡು ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಒನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ವೈ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಒನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಸೊ ಎರಡು ಪ್ರಾಡಕ್